yeah, so I'm gonna go a little bit of a different route today. Um, if I mean, you can't see what I have around me, but I've literally got all these products around me. Um, and not just that, like a ton of other stuff. So I'm gonna go over a little bit of my uh, backstory, just a little bit of it, and then um, do a little bit more of a deep dive on why, like, why ketones, guys? Like, why keto? Why ketones? And like, why it's a hack? Like, literally, I think um, I feel like most entrepreneurs, if they're not taking ketones or doing some kind of like a, a keto diet, even they're missing out on a ton. Um, they're missing out on a lot that they can actually get done. Um, and then the energy and everything else that just goes along with it in their life. So I honestly feel like it's a huge hack uh, to the game. Me and Steve take ketones every day, uh, at least once, usually twice a day, just because it helps us get more stuff done. It helps us focus. It helps us like just have the energy to be there and get crap going. Like, So if you're not using these things, you're missing out on what else you could be, how much farther you could be going with it. Plus like all the other benefits that come along with, with the ketones and with keto in your life. Um, so I've got like, I've got this stuff around, I've got the mitoplex here. Um, I even got like, we're gonna talk about salts, different things. So I just wanna go through a ton of this stuff, like the keto cream, um, <clears throat> and then some of my personal favorite stuff that I'll show you the back. Oh, what's that? Oh no. <laughs> um, some of my personal favorite stuff that I use now, like in substitute of other things, because it, yeah, most people don't even know about that. Um, I actually found that one from, uh, my man. Um, <clears throat> holy cow. I just, Man, you get going live. John Ferguson. Why did I forget his first name? John Ferguson, the man. Um, he's a huge keto guy. He knows his stuff. Um, so we bounce stuff back and forth a lot. Actually, I want to show you guys some. <clears throat> Check this out. I pulled up this picture. Um, <laughs> you guys got to go easy on me. All right, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go easy on me. Just promise you'll go easy on me. This is not that bad, but it was worse than this. Um, but this kind of shows it pretty well, and it's a picture of me. Also, my wife is in there, so you guys get to see a picture of her. <laughs> I didn't want to like totally cut her out of it, that's weird, but um, yeah, check this out. So, this was uh, in 2000, I think December of 2016, so like January of 2017. Um, so this was only like a couple years ago, really. Check this out. I don't know if you can see this. Oh man, so backwards. Do you see that? Here, let me like, see if I can make that, there we go. Can you guys see that? Like, look at that. That's, I have like no chin, I have no jawline, nothing. Like literally, <laughs> it's just like, it's just like straight right there. Like nothing, no no jawline, nothing there. Um, I was 295 pounds. Yeah, I was a big boy. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you guys got to go easy on me, though, okay? Um, 295 pounds. What's up, David? Glad to have you on here. Colleen, thanks for joining. Janet, thanks for joining. Come on, Tubby, show us the picture. <laughs> Dan, you're killing me, bro. Uh, the beard is very slimming. The beard, like, adds to it. And if I didn't have the beard, uh, yeah, the beard. Anyway, so... That's funny stuff. Um, yeah, that's I, I look a lot different, I would say. Um, I feel like I, yeah, that was that was a bit different on that one. <laughs> oh man, I gotta show you this one. Check this out. You, you'll see uh you'll see my dog as well that we have in there. Check this out. Look at that picture. Oh man, that is just yep, that's me. <laughs> I I started drinking pop like every day sometimes multiple times a day, like a big old 44 ouncer. And that's what happens when you just drink pop all the time and sit at a desk and do nothing else because I was not doing anything else. <clears throat> What's up, Darren? Glad to have you on here. Is that just from the ketones? So that's not just from the ketones. Like I'll explain that because I can't technically like there's some rules there. 
I can't be like, oh, weight loss, because that's not what it is. It's fat loss. Um, most people just look at the weight. We look at the fat part, um, which obviously I had a lot of it in this area around here. Um, <clears throat> not only there, but a lot of other places too. So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I actually, I'm down to 255 now. Um, so I went from 295 255 but that's just that's not oh man I, I probably i don't even know if i can really anyway anyway so um what i did now here's the difference just so you guys know disclaimer like all this stuff um it wasn't because i just straight up drank the product um i was using prove it stuff while i was on that 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 path of losing a lot of fat but <clears throat> i mean like I actually just finally got some caffeine free ones cuz I've kind of kind of gone bad on the caffeine. So, I'm trying to slow down on the caffeine as well. Um but I was doing ketones then as well <clears throat> when I was when I started the fat loss, you know, uh thing, but there's a big difference between eating or just drinking this but also having carbs. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, if I drink this, I can just have carbs too and I'll lose fat. Like, it's great. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> um, if you drink this without eating a lot of carbs, you'll lose fat. Um, now, this will naturally make it so you're not so hungry or carving the or craving the carbs, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, it'll do that too. So here's my thing. I have tried... <laughs> I tried multiple diets. I'm not really like a diet. I, I, I hate that word. Like not that word. Like I hate that that phrase. Like oh, I've tried so many diets and none of them work for me. Honestly, like I tried a few diets and I hated all of them. Um, that's what I would say. I can't stand diets. I hate diets. Like just who the freak wants the diet? I don't even like that word. Um, <clears throat> but I changed the way I ate. Um, and I changed the way I looked at things and it changed everything. Instead of drinking a 44 ounce of like Mountain Dew every day, I stopped drinking it and I started eating a little better. Um, you'll be surprised. There's so many studies going around right now about how everything, all sickness, I probably can't say that, but all these issues that you have in with your body start from what you eat. Literally, it's all, I mean obviously that's that's like stupid super simple to us but it's like a really newfound thing like wow what you eat actually matters like for all these other things imagine that anyway <clears throat> uh, um what's up darren clean uh you do the keto diet along with drinking the ketones right yes um so i combine the two if you if you follow stephanie milky she does that as well um it's in there's there's different ways of doing it there's the strict keto there's the lazy keto there's the dirty keto don't worry about all that i'll tell you just kind of an idea of what i did um and just some pointers some things that i i um <clears throat> that i like found that worked for me what's up steven the man larson's on here dude <laughs> oh that's funny um what's up sean thanks for joining um that's why it starts with the day with diet oh with dye <laughs> that's funny janet <laughs> diet starts with dye literally like people go on diets and they literally die inside that sucks i went on the keto diet which i would just say it's more of a keto lifestyle and i didn't die inside it was great i yeah <laughs> yeah diet is die with with the t <laughs> on the end i love it guys um seriously though like who the heck wants to diet i hate that word i hate that term um i probably shouldn't even say hate i very strongly dislike that term um <clears throat> who wants to diet that sucks i'm sorry but i've been drinking this one if you guys haven't tried the unicorn slam yet it is amazing it is like freaking love it Anyway, um, it tastes like a, like a red Starburst. Yeah. That's what I would say it kind of tastes like, like Starburst. That's pretty good. Anyway, 
like a carbonated bubbly starburst. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I'll go through this. I'm going to read uh, these couple comments. I uh, lost four pounds last week when I started drinking two privets a day. That's sweet. Two privets a day. Most people kind of have to work up to that a little bit, but that's, that's sweet you're doing that. But I also went on a no sugar challenge, kept my carbs at 50 grams. So yeah, you were doing like the keto diet. And I'll tell you guys with the keto lifestyle, I'm just going to start saying that instead of diet. <laughs> with the keto lifestyle, um, cutting those sugars and those carbs, you'll you'll shed weight fast at first and then you'll kind of plateau a little bit but you'll want to watch your fat actually so i bought a scale where i can literally stand on it it tells me my body composition um it's pretty sweet uh fit track so <clears throat> i've been kind of up and down because i haven't been too crazy on the keto lately but um so you can see like your weight um your body mass index yeah, muscle rate, body water, bone mass, all these metabolic rate, which I have a really bad metabolic rate because I was not doing keto <laughs> at the time, and I need to change that. So, yeah, um, I I use that to kind of track, and you can see the, the graph there. If you can see at the top there where it says 256. Um, that'll kind of show you your trend. Um, and that's just the fit tracker. Fit Track Pro? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty sweet though, because then I can kind of see where I'm where I'm going, what my progress is on stuff. Um, Lear, I just ordered some. I'm glad you did. You'll be amazed. It is amazing. Um, I want to know how you feel, Stephanie. I want to know if you feel any different. Um, I'll tell you guys. I can't even legally say the differences that I I had uh, when I started eating different and using keto supplements. Um, it was night and day. I literally stopped having a lot of issues. Um, <clears throat> and I'll tell you those two o'clock slumps, do you guys ever get to like two o'clock in the afternoon and you're like, I just want to take a freaking nap right now. Like this sucks. Um, you eat lunch and you're just like, Bleh. you know, um, I, I did that every day, literally two o'clock would hit. And I was just, I'm like, I'm ready for a nap. It's time to go. <clears throat> um, I started doing like, started taking ketones, started eating better. I never got that after that. It's ridiculous. Like the, that's why I say like, it's a, such an entrepreneurial hack. Like if you guys want to be able to get more crap done during the day and have the energy to do so ketones, baby, like that is the stuff. <clears throat> so, um, Colleen, wow. Since February I started taking uh, ketones about a month ago numbers keep going down so I would love to know like I like to see the fat composition because that really kind of tracks like how the fat is going there because um, pounds are kind of relative um, I think that's why they stay away from them a little bit too is because water is literally part of that too and it just fluctuates really fast but um, <clears throat> it makes me <laughs> Sean said it makes me feel like I took the red pill from matrix <laughs> dude that's totally it you're like whoa I'm ready to go um, and focus like I'm there this is happening like I can get crap done um, so much better are you seven feet tall am I seven feet tall I am actually six foot um, I want to know why you wonder if I'm seven feet, Janet. That's funny. Um, <laughs> Stephanie, feel uh, I feel great. I started as a marketing director for an IT company. Yeah, okay, that's sweet. Um, and we've gotten more done in one week than we did the prior four months. But I have through it, which is my secret sauce for product productivity momentum. That's what I'm talking about. Like, you just you just like want to get crap done. Like, you just you just go. Um, I notice when I don't take it, there's some like Saturdays every now, now and then where I, I, I just kind of get busy and I don't take it. And then I'm like, Oh, and my wife will literally ask me, she'd be like, uh, what's wrong? Like, you okay? I'm like, I don't know what's going on with me. Like, I'm just not, Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't take my ketones this morning. You know what I mean? Like if I'm not in like ketosis, then yeah, totally. Oh, there's another. I want to show you guys that too, <clears throat> man. All right. I got to get kind of moving a little bit, but, um, so I literally started, I've done diets. I've tried them. 
I can't stand them. Um, it's so bad. I remember I did like the, uh, I don't know how much I can bash on other <laughs> diets right now, but I did like the Atkins diet for like a week. That was about all I could do. I was dying. I love food. Like I just, I love food. Like I like to eat good stuff. Um, I like to cook, I like to cook good stuff for myself, you know? Um, <clears throat> so I, I enjoy food and diet usually means you can't have food, which sucks. But then I found keto and I was like, this is the stuff. Um, just super sweet. What's up, CJ? Glad to have you on here. Um, Sean down 13% body fat. That is sick. Um, <clears throat> now I want to say guys, it's combining ketones with an actual, like eating keto. Um, so the ketones with eating keto is like the, that's where you, you get the secret sauce. That's where it goes and takes off. Um, that's funny. Seven point, so clean, 7.3 out of the nine, 7.3 pounds out of the 9.5 pounds were fat. See, that's sweet. That's cool. That's good stuff. Uh, your papers on the wall are all the way to the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, that's because the computer's like down lower and then it just goes up from there. So yeah, <clears throat> definitely not. I mean, I can reach him, but yeah, I don't, yeah, that's funny. Um, so when I first got started, I was like, oh, this is going to be a keto diet. Like this sucks, you know, um, I'm going to get the keto flu. Like everybody talks about, um, which I never did, which is sweet, but I'll show you some hacks that I've used, um, that you guys can use as well. Like as you're getting product, as you're taking them, um, kind of different things there. Now I want to show you this um out of the out of like the proven products that i kind of got here um i want to show you the ones that actually don't have ketones in them themselves they just support the ketone like diet but also if you're taking them with ketones so if you're combining them with this stuff it helps push them that much farther and give that much more energy if you guys have watched the russell brunson's like well i guess it's not russell brunson's but uh if you guys have watched the campfire video that russell brunson put together for prove it um <clears throat> he talks about the kindling and then like the logs and the coal um now this is like the ketones like if you take this it's almost like getting kind of the log part but if you take it with the fat Hopefully that wasn't really loud. With like these kind of supplements, the keto cream, it's almost like the coal. Like it, it adds to it and just makes it just that much better, that much more energy, burn that much, that much better. So that's like an add-on to it. Same with this, uh, the MCT oil. <clears throat> it's a total add-on to it as well. Um, so that's, I mean, these ones they don't actually have ketones in them. Uh, they just like are gonna set it off for you. Uh, same with the Mitoplex. Now this one, I'll tell you guys, if you're getting into like the ketone, like the ketones, but also doing the 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 diet with it or the eating the keto, um, this is going to help you not get the keto flu. Just telling you right now, it's a sweet little hack. Um, when I, I didn't have these when I first did it, I literally did the salts, which right here, like a Himalayan salt because it has a lot more minerals. Um, <clears throat> so those are a couple things that just so you guys know, um, cause I know some people, they grab the, they grab this and they're like, Oh, I'm getting ketones. When in reality, it's like, yeah, it's going to help you feel better. Cause it's giving you the fat that you need to be feeling that energy, but you're not actually getting ketones with it. So hopefully that helps understand. Hope you guys understand a little more. Okay. Um, oh, by the way, I just, I don't know if you guys have seen this. This was in the Prove It magazine. Actually, let me see if I can find that real quick. Uh, <laughs> yep, I'm not going to find it now. I had it over here, but yeah, I don't know where to put it. Anyway, <clears throat> I was looking through like the, the magazine that you get to prove it. And this was totally in there. And I'm like, I'm going to grab that because 
it's got some sick stuff which actually has like a bunch of recipes in here um like cheesecake that's keto the only problem is there's like a lot of directions <laughs> um yeah anyway so but not only that is like it's only got recipes in the back um it's got some actually really good stuff uh one thing that i saw in there that i totally see people oh actually it's right here uh psych cyclic ketogenic diet diet team uh, essentially what all that means is like people do keto during the week and then the weekend they splurge and it does like nothing for you just saying because if you don't if you don't take ketones with it like this you actually don't get into the keto like you don't get ketones naturally um by the time you get you'll start getting there by thursday maybe friday but after that you're kind of diving so <clears throat> sweet stuff i'm gonna i'm gonna look at the comments real quick uh let's see here that makes sense i just wanted to I just wanted to still eat cake. Yeah, that's like the biggest thing about huh, Janet. It's it's hard to do keto without eating, without being able to do, eat cake. Um, my wife actually made cupcakes that weren't too shabby for being keto. If you're not on keto, you probably wouldn't enjoy them so much, but weren't too shabby. Um, <clears throat> it's like 35 stories wrapped up in one in that campfire video. Yeah, the campfire video is super awesome for explaining just like how ketones work with the body. So, um, oh, also, if you guys have done the reboots, um, I think they're dropping them right now. I think it just came out. If you guys haven't done one of these, there's actually, a, they don't really say it, but if you do some research, I can't technically probably tell you a lot of stuff. I don't even know what the heck I can say sometimes, but, <laughs> um, it fasting or like a reboot like a, a fasting reboot seriously is like ridiculously healthy for you um it's pretty sweet stuff and it's actually not as hard as i thought it was gonna be uh some people they think it's they think it's pretty hard other people it's like oh that actually wasn't bad i thought it was gonna be like killer because i i have to have food you know but i was surprised how actually easy it was comparatively what's up kelly glad to very glad you joined us. Um, <laughs> Alir, just talk low. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. I like cut out for a little bit there to go find that. What's up, Adam? Um, I'm doing Keto Reboot this month. Sweet, Colleen. That's awesome. Um, it is crazy stuff. I've done it twice now. And I kind of almost want to do it every month. But then I kind of don't either because I don't know if I really need to. But honestly, it is super healthy for you. Um, it's sweet. And actually not as hard as you think unless you think it's going to be hard then it may be hard <laughs> i'm not even going to go there <laughs> anyway <clears throat> um one thing i did too if you guys haven't seen these um i got this whole like kit um if you guys are okay with pricking your finger <laughs> i would totally do it right here live in front of you i wouldn't even mind um it doesn't bother me at all, but some people do it wrong, so probably hurts them. Anyway, um, seriously, like you can track your your ketones, where you're going with this, um, kind of see where you're at. I I did the reboot kit, and I was naturally into the ketosis a little bit by the end of the two days, which would be a boost anyway to get you going where you need to be. Um, <clears throat> and then I I use it too just to track like where I'm at as I'm going through kind of the whole journey of it and stuff. And every now and then I'm like, I just kind of wonder, but I had this man, tell me, tell me if you guys think this would be awesome. Um, so we were talking to, I was talking to Steven. He's like, bro, what if you did? So I bought keto Fridays.com to do like a keto, like live keto show um, on Fridays. And yeah, I haven't, I, I kind of got a little bit set up. I don't even know if I, I don't know if that's it shouldn't be live anyway um <clears throat> so i was thinking about doing like a keto live just about ketones in general or whatever like whatever that week may be but do literally do a blood test at the beginning showing that i'm not in ketosis and then drink like one of these or some product and then by the end of it like an hour later test it again and see where i'm at I don't know like 
what the difference would be. I've never tried it actually, but I don't know. Would you guys think that'd be cool? If, like that was part of a like a thing. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I fast till noon every day. So Janet, you do intermittent fasting. That is awesome. Actually helps a ton. Ooh, that's a ooh. I don't know if I should get too far into this today. Um, intermittent fasting is legit. Uh, let me tell you some of the reasons why it works so much better or why it helps. Um, when you guys eat, the first thing you eat in the day, your body releases, your stomach releases enzymes. Uh, it just releases stuff that's going to break down the food. Well, once it releases that, you have eight hours that those things will last for that day. So if you eat all of your food within the eight hour period, your stomach's going to digest it and, and break it down a lot easier. If you eat past that, it's kind of like they don't work too well. So it just gets stuck there and it doesn't digest as well. And then you're kind of screwing yourself over for the next day. So that's one of the hacks to uh, intermittent fasting, actually. And trust me, I could not have done intermittent fasting if I didn't have keto supplements. Like, um, you can do, you can take, I do, I do it with keto cream too. Um, I don't count that as like breaking the fast. Um, <clears throat> but man, I could not do it if I didn't have supplements. It's, it's not the easiest thing to do unless you have some sweet supplements or some, yeah, you got some nat, some keto OS stuff. Um, <laughs> Uh, see your Dan said many studies have shown that periodic fasting as often as once a week is incredibly beneficial. It's crazy good for you. Um, I had no idea. It's, it's like, there's a lot of, a lot of good stuff on there. Um, <laughs> Oh, Alir. No, I like you said, no, I meant because uh, you're worried about what you're, you can legally say. Um, yeah, I sometimes, I should, yeah, who cares, right? But I I don't want to like blatantly go across something, but <laughs> thanks, man. Oh, it's funny. Anyway, <clears throat> Colleen said, I have one of them and I have made a video of drink uh, before drink improve it and test it again 30 minutes later. I would actually be really interested to see that video. Um, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Because I thought, I thought this took an hour. If I was under the, it's 30 minutes to an hour to get it, your body, get the ketones in your bloodstream, your body moving. Um, Sean said, do it. I guess, I'm guessing you're talking about the keto Friday thing, which would be sweet. So and same with Janet, um, clean said the difference is about one to 1 1.5 mil, uh, millimolar after that's actually perfect. So that's the fat burning zone right there. Um, uh, once you get past, I think 0 0.6 or seven, you enter into that. I think technically 0.3 or 4, um, but 1.5 is like optimal. So that's cool. I wouldn't worry too much about that. You just know that you drink one of these and you're optimal. <laughs> um, I don't think I would be able to fast at all. Oh, if you didn't have um, ketones. Yeah, it wasn't hard at all, actually. Yeah, it's crazy. Like I always had to have breakfast, but then I just I drink one of these in the morning. I'm like, eh. I'm good. I don't even care. Like I'm not even starving. It's crazy. So yeah, sweet stuff. Um, Pruitt says 60 minutes, but it totally happens within 30 minutes. That's actually really cool. That's sweet. Um, that's good to know. I, I imagine it might actually even have, uh, it might be a little bit different based on if you just ate or if you're on an empty stomach, I, I bet you that would make a difference too. That's probably why they say stick 60 minutes. I imagine. What's up, Jonathan. Thanks for joining. Um, so these things are awesome. If you don't have this, I'm going to say, take some salt with your stuff. That is the number one misconception about salt is like, Oh, like salt's bad for you. Not, I mean, get some of the, the either the Himalayan or do some of this stuff right here. Um, that will actually, if you get too low on salt, even when you're doing ketones, keto diet stuff, you'll lose that energy. Um, you need that salt, that potassium, um, in order to keep it up and going. Um, and the magnesium, actually, this one has all of that plus more. Yeah. It's got some sweet stuff in it actually. Um, so I drink one of these a day with it. 
Uh, sometimes I'll mix it with it. Other times I usually just do it with straight water, but like 32 ounces because I don't really like the taste if it's straight water. Anyway, yeah. So if you guys want to find the best sugar replacement, I hope you guys are like liking this at all. Um, let me know if you if this is something you kind of like to hear about. I know this is different. I'm not talking straight like marketing stuff or like funnel stuff. I'm literally talking about the key, like the the supplements and just ketones in general. Um, so hopefully that's cool with you guys that I'm kind of going through this today. But I want you all to go kill it and have the energy and the focus and the just the rush of ketones to get going and making stuff happen. Um, not only that, but like just to feel better and yeah, do better. So um, <clears throat> how much potassium is in that mitoplex? Uh, seven or 275 milligrams. Yeah. So you kind of see there's, it's a little bit there. So you see what's in it. Oh, and I just got these too. What's up? <laughs> I'm so stoked about these. Um, so these combined with this is like when you get into the, the good stuff. Um, so these are the capsules. They just released these. I think they did a beta group. Um, I don't think they're available to everybody. That's what they look like there. Um, you take two a day. I'm actually waiting to get these going. Um, but... You take these with this, and it's like DNA repair stuff. It's kind of crazy. Um, but I want you guys, like, you guys got to try these. Like, you got to get some figured out, see how it's doing for you. You got to try it out. Like, it's just, and if you're, especially if you're, like, selling it. What's up, Alberto? How's it going, man? Scott. Thanks for joining us, Scott. <laughs> What's up, man? Um, <clears throat> so, when I first started doing keto and I was like, I want something that tastes like sugar that doesn't actually, you know, mess you up like sugar does. <laughs> and so I got this stuff and I was like, oh, that's cool. Except for it tastes like really bad afterwards. Um, a lot of people on keto actually push this a ton. Um, and I'm kind of surprised because it's, it's really not that good. Like, it tastes good at, like when you're eating it, but then it's just, I mean, the aftertaste is horrible. So I found like the ultimate closest sugar tasting one out there. No insulin response at all. Like it literally is 100% keto and it is legit. Um, they're actually, there's something on Shark Tank recently where they are making drinks with this sweetener because it's like the best one out there. You don't get that that nasty aftertaste, which I, I can't stand that aftertaste, but I've gotten used to it a little bit just because I did do this for a while because I didn't know any better. And a lot of people don't know better and they just kind of go with that. Um, so I'm going to show you the stuff, the good stuff, like pre primo stuff right here um prime grade <laughs> um oh I'll, okay dan i'll show you what's in the signal os after this um so you want to get this stuff right here it's lacanto so it's monk fruit you can get monk fruit but this brand is legit uh lacanto sweetener you can literally like eat it just in a taste it's really freaking close to sugar and there's no aftertaste which is amazing um i love it you can kind of see the um let's see you can kind of see the granular stuff there you see how it's got grain yeah I don't know. <laughs> um and they make it powdered sugar i don't I actually uh i think we use this for some frosting or something i haven't tried it just straight so i don't really know but it's like it's super interesting it's actually natural it's from like an actual fruit monk fruit um super good stuff so if you're doing wanting to go more on the keto diet and replace a lot of like your flowers with stuff like this like the almond flour um <clears throat> i love almonds i could eat those all day seriously um and then this is like one thing i'll mix in with stuff uh so it's like chocolate chips but it's no sugar at all it's literally 
a ton of fiber. I think it's three grams net carbs for like three tablespoons. So you can actually have a pretty good amount of this. Um, it's pretty sweet. So those are like, these are the secret right here. This is the secret stuff. Um, if you like coffee, if you're mixing this stuff, you know, if you need a little bit more sweet sweetness to it, this is the stuff you want to get. Don't buy this. Ugh, it's not good stuff. Anyway, so <clears throat> Signal OS capsules. I'm going to go back to these. You can kind of see right there. Um, so the inner bark stuff, the CMED 100 is like the, it's like the secret stuff um, that they, I don't know where exactly it comes from. Yeah. Um, I guess the mushroom extract there. So this is like down to the cellular level, mixing this with ketones, like the supplements. Um, you can actually see on, let's see here. <clears throat> Usually, I thought it said right here. Yeah, maybe not. Um, maybe it's on the older boxes, but it used to say something like, mix this with signal os capsules uh to get the full like effect of it mm. yeah i don't remember where i saw that now oh yeah so it talks about like the dna repair right there um and that stuff so it's when you mix like this with the signal OS kind of stuff um if you do the keto reboot kit it comes with the Signal OS capsules. You can see what comes in it right there. Um, so it comes with Keto Calms, the Better Bros, the Max, and the capsules. Um, so you're literally like doing, getting awesome benefits of like fasting, but then also straight up ketones plus the, the capsules. Yeah, it's crazy stuff. So sweet stuff. Oh, dude, Alberto, I saw your Facebook message yesterday, and yesterday was a whole Offer Lab day. I need to catch up still on those. Um, so I'll have to check it out, brother. <laughs> uh, Dan, isn't it still fructose? So, no, it's not actually. Um, I'll show you right here. So it's actually literally zero anything it's got. And I'll show you just, I'll show it to you guys. And then I'll explain something that a lot of people still have confusion about. What's up, Eric, Tony? Thanks for joining, guys. Um, so those, that's it right there. And it's one teaspoon, that's four carbs. That's crazy. Um, so you guys are like, oh wait, it's got carbs in it. Like, that's not good. Um, so net carbs is what you want to worry about, which is carbohydrates minus sugar alcohols and dietary fiber cancels out the carbs. Um, so carbs minus diet or minus sugar alcohol. And that's what you get for the total car, the net carb, um, which if it's four minus four, then it's zero. So you're good to go there. Um, I think, uh, yeah, <clears throat> um, different, different things have different insulin responses too. That's techno babble. I probably shouldn't even say that, but essentially different things have more carbs that are going to actually affect you more than other ones will. That's why like sugar is so bad because it really affects you like worse than other carbs do. Um, especially like the high fructose corn syrup is like ultra bad. <laughs> um, yeah, dude. So bro, Alberto pancakes, um, Lakanto has a pancake mixture that's pretty freaking low net carb. Um, I think it's like three or four to, per like two good size pancakes. Like they're not little tiny ones. They're like actually pretty good size. And then they have a maple syrup flavor or maple syrup as well. That's made with this stuff. Dude, you gotta try it out, man. I freaking love it. Uh, it's good stuff. Uh, what's up, Tony? Um, what is calm? So actually I'll show you this real quick. <clears throat> It was in there. Found it. So this is calm, keto calm right here. Um, 
it's like a it's like a tea like he just makes it up the night before um it has ketones in it um but it's also got like some amazing stuff actually it has the cmed the the inner bark as well so you, if you get this stuff um mixing it it's got ketones in it so if you mix those together right that's when you get into like the dna repair stuff um so you can kind of see what's going on in there a little bit yeah hopefully that helps you guys there this stuff is actually really good um the chai um is that how you say it i don't remember chai um i this is my favorite kind right here i think it tastes amazing uh you just put it with some hot water and mix it up and you're good to go I wouldn't mix it too too thick uh, or too with too little of water. Um, I like to add a little bit more, but it's actually really good. And then there's a chocolate one that's really good. I like this one a little bit better. Um, I can't remember. There was like a caramel one or something. I only had that one like once. I thought it was pretty good, but this is my favorite by far. So hopefully that helps you guys. All right. And then also when you're eating, guys, this is the biggest thing like – people mess up on too is they drink they drink the ketones but they don't get the fat um so unless you're drinking like this you need something else that's like good healthy fat um <clears throat> nuts are a good way that way like almonds are amazing um peanuts i snack on those a bit they're a little bit higher in carb but not bad um they got a good amount of diet dietary fire but the fiber so that's all right. This is good fat that you want to add to it. This will really kind of explode it a little bit more because it's got um, MCT oils. It's like the MCT part of it as well, which I'm not going to get too far into. But um, if you're not doing that, avocados, baby. Um, I eat like one of those a day. That is like a huge hack to... Um, the keto lifestyle <laughs> uh really or cheese like i eat, I eat a bit of cheese as well people you, they don't get enough fat with uh, what they're eating they eat too much protein too much protein is actually bad um so they eat too much protein but not enough fat and then they're like eating bacon all day which is actually not all that good for you um you can have bacon totally like every day if you want with the keto diet, but they don't eat other stuff that's good that go with, goes with it. Um, greens, guys, like if you, if you really want to feel good on it and not get the keto flu, you need to make sure you're getting your salts and your greens. Um, collard greens are probably the best ones you can have uh, with it. Uh, the broccoli, the I eat the tops more. Um, that's good stuff as well. Lots of greens. Just eat greens and that, that'll that help you feel a ton better. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I just found it on Amazon, brother. Like uh, Alberto was asking about the link for the pancake stuff. I just found it on Amazon, actually. Um, all of this you can find on Amazon. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see here. Tony says, I really need some help with finding a proven product that doesn't make me feel sick. That's not good. Um, I wonder how you're mixing it. And honestly, some people are sensitive to ketones. Most people have never actually had their body in a state where it could naturally produce ketones. So that's why it's sweet that we can just drink them and have it. Um, but most people are, most people need to kind of get into it, try half a pack and then go to a full pack. Um, whatever you feel, if you try half a pack and you're like, Oh, it feels good, but I'm not like, crazy or anything then go for the full and then hit two a day which is sweet i know some people drink like five a day i don't even know how you do that but pretty soon you're just wasting them at that point um anyway um <laughs> so tony i wonder i wonder if you just need to use smaller stuff but drink a lot of water make sure you're drinking enough water with that um maui punch tastes like medicine the orange dream is so sweet i feel sick i don't really like the orange dream and I actually am not a huge fan of the Maui Punch either. You need to try the Splash. Um, Splash is amazing. Key Lime is actually a really lighter one. Mix a Key Lime with like 32 ounces of water and try that. Um, drink maybe half of it first. Uh, see, how, see how it goes. Um, <coughs> is the experience pack the way to go? Um, so you definitely want to get the experience pack when you sign up first off to get the benefits from it. Um, 
but you don't necessarily need to just i mean if you want to try the whole like spectrum of them experience pack is it like to have enough of those um or you can just order a box of each just kind of go from there fat bombs <laughs> that's what i'm talking about healthy fats yes um prove it has a ton of fat bomb recipes too where you can add ketones in with it uh it's typically like some cream cheese with a ketone packet or a prove it packet um with some other stuff it's pretty freaking good actually um yeah so that's another way what's up todd thanks for thanks for joining us um dan heavy eggs almonds cashews potassium magnesium calcium bananas cheese um i actually never had so what are you saying there dan because cashews are actually not like the best for keto either they're kind of higher carb but um i eat eggs like every day <laughs> i love eggs um almonds I don't know. I thought bananas were kind of off. I know you can have strawberries, raspberries, uh, blueberries, not like a ton of them, but they have enough natural dietary fiber in them that they don't, uh, yeah, that they're keto. Um, so you can have like a cup, I think, uh, of one of those or whatever, but not a ton, but those are, those are sweet. Those are good stuff. Just an iced water. Um, I would definitely only do orange dream and iced water. I can't drink it any other way because it's too much for me. Um, I don't really like the orange dream so much. Um, <clears throat> but you're probably mixing it really, really strong. I would try to mix it a lot less. Um, see how that goes. Salmon's super good. Yes, Colleen. Uh, salmon is a great fat plus a great protein. Man, you guys know your stuff. I love it. Oh, what's up, Troy? Thanks for joining, man. Um, Stephanie, just wondering if you send a far away friend samples in the mail, or if you have them order from the website, my friends see me drinking on zoom all day <laughs> and want to try it. So totally you, you can sell them. Uh, I would just make sure they pay for it because here's the biggest issue that everybody goes into. They're like, I want everybody to try it and just go for it. And, and if they try it, they'll love it. Like, yes, but a lot of times they don't quite understand it. And I'll tell you one secret to it people who pay pay attention with anything in life with anything they do um so when they pay for it they're they're gonna actually pay attention to how it makes them feel how it is if they don't pay for it you're just losing money um you're gonna be giving a ton away i only give like i'll give like one packet away to some people um just because like they're super close or friends or whatever but i don't i don't give a ton of it away just because I know a lot of times they won't understand it. They won't realize the benefits of it because they didn't pay for it. They don't, they don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> Tony said, cool. Thanks. I struggle with one a day. Yeah. 16 ounces. I'd try a lot more than 16 ounces, Tony. Yeah. Add the ketones, the fats, avocado. Avocado is the best fat out there in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> it's it's like straight up minerals fats just nothing but goodness a lot of people see avocados as like oh my goodness that's so much fat like i'm gonna get fat by eating that and it's totally opposite as long as you're not combining it with a bunch of carbs i'm just saying <clears throat> um dan Havy, i have three plus block boxes of chocolate swirl and orange dream if someone wants them yeah if you guys want to get some of that stuff hit up dan um totally <laughs> uh i don't i've got some extras of that i wasn't a huge a huge orange dream i liked the chocolate swirl as long as it was with ice it was pretty good but yeah not warm uh, yeah what's up steven uh glad to have you on man uh you need like 4800 milligrams of potassium a day so electrolyte powder is good but not gatorade because of all the sugar correct um so two of these i drink like two of these a day plus if you're doing something like this, I think avocado's got quite a bit in there. I don't remember exactly, but as long as you're eating like good stuff, a lot of people don't eat the greens with it. And that's what when they have the issues. Greens is like the key. Like you gotta have fats, you gotta have some protein, and you gotta have greens. Those are the three things that you need to have every day with the keto. So <clears throat> king salmon is amazing. Yes, it is. That's for sure. Um, what's compliance say about selling it online? Um, so we're actually working on that. 
Um, cause you can, there are <laughs> thanks, Janet. Um, you can, you can send out or, uh, you can share, you know, like your, the keto experience link, I think is what it is on your, when you go in your back office, if somebody's request or wants to try it out, you can send them a link to fill out the form to request a five day. Um, but we, Brian Underwood's so the owner of prove it. Brian Underwood is talking with us. He is really wanting to sell this online. Um, really wanting a supplement funnel going. So that's what's in the works. Um, that's what we want to get rolling for y'all. Cause that's, what's going to blow it up really. Honestly, um, I'm super stoked about that. It's going to be sweet. So Sean, that is coming. Um, I don't think, uh, I don't think there's necessarily anything against, like if you were to build your own, um, funnel for some supplements, uh, for selling it, that's totally cool. You can do that. Um, but you just have to make sure it's approved through compliance before then, before you make it live. Um, so totally. Yeah. Like we're working on it. We want to make a sick one that we know is going to work for everybody. Um, but if you want to get, you know, the jump and go and then, then go for it. Um, yes. Those who pay, pay attention it is true with everything. Oh, Janice said add carbonated water to it. Yes. I do that all the time. In fact, my favorite one, like splash with carbonated uh, lime or lemon water is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Troy, what about Oreos double stuff with milk? Yeah, it's not going to work, dude. <laughs> That's straight up, straight up just sugar, um, sugar and carbs. Um, oh, uh, yeah, Dan, so you don't get fat by eating fat. What? Like, really? I didn't know that. Like, people, like, it's such a huge misconception. Um, <clears throat> so funny. People, even back in like Time Magazine, uh, one time talked about how eggs have so much cholesterol, they make your cholesterol worse when in fact it's actually the opposite. Um, <laughs> eating higher cholesterol or like eating natural ones like that actually help with other things. So it's, there's so much backward stuff still out there right now. It's kind of sad. Um, I would eat a ton of fat when I was like, doing keto, like the supplement the keto supplements with like the keto um, um just eating keto lifestyle diet um <clears throat> ton of fat and i was losing fat like whoa imagine that like it's the carbs and the sugars that kill you like that if you want to get fat just straight up drink sugar and you will get fat like that's just the way it is <clears throat> so uh, Colton, great info today. Could I glad I could drop in uh, live for a change? Glad you're on here, Tony. Yeah, it's probably a better time for you now that it's seven o'clock our time. It's morning time for you. Yeah, usually I think one or two o'clock our time is like pretty early in the morning for you over there in Australia. So <laughs> that's funny. Uh, so Dan Havy, I see Prove It Now has an electrolyte product, Mitoplex. Yes. Um, so that is the electrolyte product, but with like the extra prove it esque on it. It's not just like an electrolyte, which is sweet. They add their own good stuff to it. Um, instead of just the salt, really, you can just get some Himalayan salt if you really need electrolytes. But yeah. Um, I so Sean, you built kind of a supplement funnel. Will you get tased if you make it live? Yeah, if you don't get it through compliance and they. Um, and if you're doing stuff that's not very good for, <laughs> uh, that's against compliance, they can, they'll shut you down, dude. So I would make sure you send it to them and, and get it figured out. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. So there's 975 milligrams of potassium in one avocado. That's good to know. Sweet stuff on average, roughly. Yeah. Sweet. Um, what was Stephanie Milky's program for selling beginner sap? samples um so that's actually sean here's one way um <clears throat> honestly stephanie milky like built her entire business everything she's doing literally through like instagram um she'll do instagram lives a lot facebook lives she built it through uh, uh facebook groups a ton but she'll post on her stories or go live and literally talk about 
the products, but also just like drop a five day experience. Like if you guys want to try this, change your life, like blah, 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 blah. You need to try a five day experience pack. Like just DM me, whatever. I'll send you this, this link, which they just fill out the, Hey, I want a five day experience pack. And then she sends them the five day experience pack 40%, 40% of those people who get the packs turn into customers. That's huge. That's super huge. So that's like her whole thing is like they'll turn into customers, then a ton of those turn into promoters, and she just blew up, like just going crazy. So that's why if you guys don't follow Stephanie Milky on Instagram, um, I would definitely go follow her right now, check out her stories, see what she's doing, and model that. Um, she's pretty dang good at it. So until we have like the supplement funnels going, she's a super good one to um, follow and get some ideas from. What's up, Francisca? Glad you joined. That's like the second week in a row. That's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> uh, so Janet said, fat fast will break a plateau. Um, I'm not sure I understand that one. Uh, you want to get fat drink diet soda. <laughs> uh, you know, I actually was drinking uh, when I was funny enough um, doing the keto, like eating keto. Um, I still would at the beginning, I was buying diet soda a bit just because I wanted something that tasted, you know, sugary or not. Yeah. Sugary, not, but not actually be sugary. And honestly, uh, Diet Dr. Pepper, well, that was my favorite because it's the closest one to tasting actually like the original. Um, but mixing it with whipping cream, I did that a lot, actually. Um, another hack that a lot of people don't realize, you can take whip, whipping cream, throw in the blender with like a little bit of, I throw some of this on it, some little Lakanto in there, and then like some vanilla or, yeah, whatever you kind of want to like feel like putting in there, whip it up, and it's like you got mousse, like you can do some chocolate in there and have chocolate mousse and it's straight keto and it is amazing. <laughs> so yeah. Um, <clears throat> this mitoplex also have ketones. So mitoplex does not have the ketones in it. Um, let me actually make sure. Yeah. So this is just more of like an add on to a lot of times what people do is will they'll mix it in with a, a a packet you know so you'll just mix a packet of this um with one of these which is just a little thing like that so you just mix them mix both of them together and then drink it that way i don't really like it because this gives it a little bit of a weird taste a little bit of a weird flavor um so that's why that's why i just mix it with like 32 ounces of water and just go from there so totally um <clears throat> yeah um, Tony, look at you go, prove it expert. <laughs> I've, I've been around this for a while now. Um, I, I love this stuff. It literally changed my life. Like, I don't think you guys realize how much my life has changed because of ketones, um, because of just eating differently and better. I, when I go off of keto now, I can tell, like, I just die, like I literally die inside and my energy goes just down it sucks. Um, my sleep sucks. My everything just kind of sucks. And then as soon as I get back into it, I'm like rolling with it. I just come right out and I'm like, bam, good to go now. Like, Oh, it's such a, yeah, it's, it's such a awesome hack that people just don't realize and they don't do. And they're just missing out. And yeah, it sucks. What's up, Deborah? Glad you joined us. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think uh, I got to hop off here soon, but <laughs> Troy, Pib Zero for the win. <laughs> Seriously though, I drink a ton of that stuff um, just to like supplement it because I was dying for the sugar at the beginning and then pretty soon it was like, oh, I don't even care about this. Like once you get past like a month spot, um, eating good keto with like taking the keto supplement, pretty soon you do not crave the things you used to and actually they don't taste nearly as good as they used to it's kind of weird um like if you do like the keto eating keto with the supplements for a month or two and then go back and have a drink of your soda you'll be like what the? this is weird it's crazy stuff so what's up charles uh, thanks for joining us <clears throat> so janet uh fat fast is eating only fat for up to a week yeah, that's actually that. I actually want to do that. That'd be super sweet. If you are stuck in your weight loss, it breaks that. 
Um, isn't that so interesting? Nobody would have ever thought that like 15 years ago um, in the nineties, like nobody would have ever said, just eat fat, straight fat for a week. Like nobody would have ever seen that. Um, yeah. I'm not even going to go where, where that thought was going. Anyway. Um, Alberto, I feel you. I need a reboot. Yeah. So the reboot's actually really good to get you like kickstarted and running and then you like hold it a lot easier after that. So, <laughs> um, that's funny. So, uh, Tony said, that's a great way to look at, uh, using the products as a great entrepreneurial hack that belongs somewhere in the marketing targeting us. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Um, that's kind of funny cause it's a thought I've had. For a while now but anyway um <clears throat> so it's a total entrepreneurial hack and in fact most entrepreneurs if you look at it they'll start out kind of not understanding a lot of different things in life and then once they get to like a successful spot um you'll notice a lot of entrepreneurs like the big ones will actually change the way they eat and the way they do a lot of things and then they it's kind of weird it's almost like they look like crap like if you look at Jeff Bezos, like the owner of Amazon, um, I probably shouldn't even say this, but um, like his old, when he first started Amazon, he kind of just looked like, like he didn't look all that good. And then now, now that like years later, like he looks better. It's kind of weird. Like, wait, what the heck? The, it's like all of a sudden they realize that what they eat, what they do, like taking care of their body themselves makes a huge difference and they switch it and it's almost like everything changes for them it's kind of crazy i've noticed that in a lot of entrepreneurs um so i'm kind of seeing the trend and i'm like that that makes sense um so if you want to jump the curve a little bit and start getting your mind in the spot where you need it to be in order to be like killing it with what you're doing start start I would say keto lifestyle all the freaking way. Um, so funny. My sister-in-law will, uh, she'll send me stuff about how keto is so bad for you. She has no idea what it even is. And she sends me stuff and it's like, oh, if you eat a ton of meat, like it's really bad for you. And I'm like, that's not what keto is, but okay. And then she's over there eating cookies. And I'm like, really? Like you think what I'm doing is bad when I'm eating like, this good stuff, greens and all these things and have like ketones. She has no idea that she's over there eating cookies, drinking pop. And I'm like, you just want to make yourself feel better because I'm eating better than you are. <laughs> like, <laughs> anyway, that's kind of bad. What's up, Lenny? Glad you joined, man. It's awesome. Glad to have you on here, bro. Um, so hopefully that kind of like helps with you guys. Um, let me see. I think I had a, oh, I literally I literally didn't count like calories while I was doing it. I just looked at carbs. Like you just want to stay low carbs. Typically, if you want to be in a really good state, like a really good, like stricter kind of keto uh, diet, you want to keep your net carbs down to like 20 or less. Um, I think if you want to stay in an okay keto diet, you don't want to go over 60. I think it's 50 or 60, but um, just watch that stuff. Like get rid of the sugars, get rid of the flours. All the grains and stuff that everybody says is so healthy when really it kind of messes you up because <laughs> um, people eat way too much of it. Um, stay away from that stuff and just just check out the carbs. But yeah, um, and make sure you minus the dietary fiber from it and the sugar alcohols. That's when you'll get your net carb. Um, eat, eat more fat. That's a huge thing. So honestly, like just to wrap this up, Take your ketone supplements every day, at least one of them, typically two, one in the morning, one afternoon. Um, make sure you get your fats with it. If you're not drinking this, um, use heavy whipping cream. That's a really good no sugar fat. Um, that's like the one I use all the time. Make sure you're doing good healthy fats and your vegetables with it and you'll be good to go and lower on protein, not a ton of protein. Uh, a lot of people think, well, I can just eat protein all day because it's keto. Not true, actually. Um, so the three things um, you, so you want to make sure you have your key, your, your fats, your proteins and your vegetables or your, your green stuff. And 
that's just the three. Just remember those three per day. And that's that's pretty simple there. And stay away from carbs and you're good. Totally good there. Um, and yeah, berries, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, raspberries. A lot of people don't realize you can have those. So totally go for it. Just don't eat a ton of them, but you can have some. And stop stressing so much about it, guys. Like just, just eat a little better and trust me you'll be you'll be feeling it it's freaking awesome so um hopefully that helps a ton guys if you have questions more questions um that you'd like me to answer on that stuff um post it below give it to me um maybe we'll do another one answering some more of those and then uh yeah i'm stoked i'm gonna i'm gonna fly out tomorrow morning for my sister's wedding so i couldn't do it tomorrow but we'll plan on i think oh next friday um, I might either do it Friday morning, next Friday, or I'll probably, I'll probably end up doing it Thursday night again, next, next Thursday, next week. So, um, just so you guys know, that's probably what'll happen, but sweet stuff. Hopefully you guys like that here. Let me check out the comments before I go. Um, yeah, my nutritionist slams ketones too. Isn't that funny? Like it's, it's such a, oh man. We're just, we got to break some false beliefs here because people just have some really bad beliefs about stuff. Um, and honestly, there is like a lot of people eat the American keto way, which is actually not the best keto way, which American keto really just means they eat a bunch of burgers without buns and bacon all day, <laughs> which is really not the, like a keto way to do it. So that's kind of bad there. Um, and then uh, Troy, don't dog us cookie eaters. I love cookie. I love cookies, bro. Like when I don't do keto, I'm like straight up. I don't know if you know what bluebell ice cream is, but I'm like all over bluebell. It's kind of bad. Um, thank goodness they don't sell it in Boise because I would probably be off keto even more than I, 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 I try to stick to it for a long time. And then there's like traveling. Sometimes I just kind of, I lose it. I stop. And then I'm like, oh, well, since I'm not in keto, I might as well have a couple days to enjoy it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's totally. Um, Tony, thanks, Colin. Really great live today. Thanks, Tony. That's awesome. Um, glad to hear. Dan, Healthline, Nutrition, 10 Super Healthy High Fat Foods. That's actually really cool. I'm going to open that up in the different tabs so I can check that out. Um, so Colleen said, my nutrition my nutritionist is ecstatic about ketones. Once they understand it, once they get it, once they realize what it is, they're like, oh my goodness, this is the best stuff ever. Like everybody needs to do this. But until then they're just stuck in their old ways and they still believe that eggs are bad for you. Like, <laughs> oh, just kind of bad. What's up, James? Dude, glad to have you on here, man. We're just finishing up, but glad to have you on here. Um, <laughs> Troy, I'm literally laughing out loud. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, so yeah, Colleen said, my nutritionist is ecstatic about ketones. Just got to keep looking for the right people to have on your health team. That is so true. Find people who understand it with you, who are going to push you to go farther with it. Stay away from the naysayers. I don't even look at the stuff my sister-in-law sends me because I know most of it, actually 99% of it's garbage because I've done the research myself before. I've looked into it. I've checked things out. It's there's nothing but good in there. Um, it's actually, I mean, I can't really, I don't think I'm supposed to go too crazy into like scientific studies and benefits and all that, but everything that I've seen from people who actually test it correctly, like there's some amazing stuff. Um, amazing things. Not only that, like I have felt it for myself. Like I have felt the difference. So you can't, like, it's hard to tell me it's hard to change the story I have behind ketones because I've been through it. I've felt it. I know it. And it's like, once you go through it, once you, once you feel it, once you start um, like seeing the, the, the difference or like how you've changed, you're like, okay, well, there's no way like you can tell me anything else because that's just the way it is. James, I just got home. That's awesome, man. Uh, dude, you have to go back and watch it. And tell me what you think. Um, I went through, uh, the keto supplements quite a bit on stuff. So sweet stuff, guys. I got to head out. Um, keep it real. Stay classy and drop some more questions if you got them. We'll go from there. So thanks for joining. A ton, or thanks a ton for joining, guys. It was awesome. We'll see you all later.